You shouldn't be talking people like that. And um, it's, dis it's, dis it's disrespectful. It really is disrespectful. Now at 530, support from others today after a Miami-Dade school's employee says she was discriminated against because of her accent. The Coral Gables Middle School employee filed a complaint against the district. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn spoke with her. She joins us from the newsroom with what she had to say. Jacqueline. Lauren and Elliot, you know what? I took a look at the complaint here, and it discusses more than just this issue of discrimination. It's harassment and even abuse, uh, and even the job listing here, it says that there is no job requirement. So this employee tells us that she's qualified, and she just wants to be treated fairly. I'm working the past year. Security and communication for students, family, everything is cool. Miladis Barnes has been a Miami-Dade County Public Schools employee since 2017. She's currently a janitor at GW Carver Middle School. With staffing shortages, she's covered other roles. So when the security monitor position opened up January 20th, she applied. Everything is okay. My reputation for the family is okay. She was turned down. According to the complaint to the Equal Employment Opportunity Office, the principal at the school said in a recorded conversation they were looking for someone who spoke English, to which Miladis Barnes replied, but I do speak English, then told yes, but not well enough. It's discrimination total. Her lawyer is Bruce Kaplan, a former Dade County Commissioner. And for the principal of the school to tell an applicant that she doesn't speak English well enough or she speaks it with an accent and therefore is ineligible for a job, the posting for which is still open, and they've already contracted somebody who started this week, to me is the worst form of discrimination. We asked Barnes if she had faced any complaints in her time there that would make her ineligible. Never. No never, never, right? never, no complaints anytime. We reached out to MDCPS and they told us in a written statement that they are an equal opportunity employer and do not discriminate and added this school system goes to great lengths to cultivate teaching and learning environments that promote the diversity of our students, workforce and community. The Office of Civil Rights Compliance at MDCPS works tirelessly to deter and investigate complaints of harassment and discrimination through proactive training and by conducting timely, impartial and investigations. It also noted it had yet to receive any complaints. Uh, she wants to work. She's worked here. She just wants to continue working in the school that she loves. Now, Kaplan said that he filed the documents this morning and it was accepted. He's expecting an investigation here in the near future. For now, reporting in the newsroom, back to you guys.